Furukawa has spoken. We have several dope Nintendo Switch news items all in one epic video. Let's go. What is going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? Before we get started, you already know the vibes. Give it a thumbs up. Let's destroy 300 likes. I know we're at it. Let's go right now. All right. We have several dope Nintendo Switch news items for this video, but the first one, Nintendo's global president. Furukawa has spoken specifically on the first party releases coming in 2021. Check out what he has said. And I quote, our software lineup for the next fiscal year is a topic we will discuss at the appropriate time. I reported on this first part already where he said, we're going to just talk about the game releases pretty much closer to the launch of the games so y'all not waiting and waiting and we don't overlap because we have games like Mario 3D World that's about to launch and we don't want y'all to get hyped for the surprises we have later on we want y'all to buy this game so that's the first part but the second part is a doozy check out what he says as always he says and I quote we are preparing a variety of software titles for consumers in the coming fiscal year. And so he has confirmed a variety of games, meaning multiple different genre of games possibly coming in 2021. Shooters, platformers, RPGs, Battle Royale. They're saying, and now... This is coming from Nintendo Studios. And so he's saying what they're working on, not what third party games are working on, because we know the Switch is going to have a broad variety of games. But Nintendo's first party studios, it says that they're working on or preparing a variety of software titles this coming year. And so Nintendo is. Going, Nintendo will be releasing multiple first party games this year. Hopefully, hopefully it's a better turnout than last year. Because last year we pretty much had Animal Crossing carrying us all through the year. But this year the, the Nintendo pre global president has promised a variety. And I quote, this is his exact words, not Obi-Wan. He says a variety of software this fiscal year. What games do you guys want to see? This is the only game that matters. Are we going to get Metro Prime 4 this year? There's probably a 0% chance that's going to happen. But at least give us a tease, bro. But I can't wait to see what titles Nintendo is working on to release this fiscal year. But the global president has promised this fiscal year we will be seeing a variety of software by the big end. Next news item is a doozy, bro. Bro. <coughs> Platinum Games co-founder. At Shushi Inaba and Hideki Kamiya, they have um, recently been interviewed and they spilled the beans on why they've been so quiet about Bayonetta 3. And they pretty much says they're not publishing the game and so they're respecting the wishes of Nintendo. It's not so much they want to be quiet. But Nintendo is telling them, zip, 
nothing. Don't talk about the game until we want the game to be talked about. They sort of have to if Nintendo's paying them to make the game. This is what they've, this is his direct, direct quote. We don't have that much say over projects that we are not publishing. That's what they said. And we understand different titles require different approaches. So we respect the publisher's decision. Nintendo is the publisher. And so this is what they continue to say. So if there's a difference between what we want to do with Project GG versus what we normally do with our other titles, it's not really a criticism of those publishers. We respect their approaches, but for this title especially, our approach as a company is that we're hoping to be more open. So they're saying they're going to be open, more open with this Project GG game that they're working on. But they're saying when it comes to games that they're not publishing, they have to respect the publisher's wishes direct reference to Bayonetta 3 and Nintendo saying it's Nintendo telling them y'all chill out bro don't talk about our game till we are ready to talk about it but Bayonetta 3 definitely definitely one of my most anticipated one of my most anticipated Switch games Metro Prime 4 Breath of the Wild 2 are the two at the top of the list bruh next news item bro the hits keep coming bro in one epic video all right apex legends we finally have the nintendo switch file size and it's a doozy the file size revealed on the nintendo has been revealed on the eShop, and it's listing at 15.2 gigabytes but on the Japanese eShop, it says the Battle Royale title requires a download of at least 30 gigabytes. And so, um, 15 or 30, I think it's going to probably end up being closer to 30 once the game launches next month. It's a full-fledged big Battle Royale game, a lot of content. I want to see how, if they're going to have this game running at 60 frames, I'm really, ex my expectations for the Switch version is 30 frames, but it's going to take up, um, look, anticipate, anticipate 30 gigabytes, all right, 30 gigabytes, one listing says 15, but on the Japanese eShop, it says 30 gigabytes to download, so a big, big, big game, and the next news item, bro, Super Mario 3D World Bowser's Fury. The street date has been broken. Um, retail stores have accidentally sold the game. Why? Um, uh, information about the game has accidentally already began to leak online. All right. And so the street date has been broken and leaks have been coming out. Uh, one um, Twitter user, Oatmeal Dome, um, tweeted out, the game has leaked onto the internet. It uses NEX, not NPLN. I think that's their older online um, server because the game does have online multiplayer. The final build was made on, no made on November 25th, 2020. So the, f the game was really complete November 25th. Bowser's Fury's codename Ocean, uh, port made in collaboration with Nintendo Software Technology and 1UP Studio. And so the game, the street date has been broken and the game has been leaking online. And the last news item for this video, I thought this was pretty dope. Looks like Nintendo Switch Online subscribers will be able to try Overcooked 2 for a free trial period. Um, this is coming from Nintendo of Europe's official Twitter. And so this is probably in translate and it happened um, also in the U.S. It says, what's cooking, Nintendo Switch Online members? Get a taste of Overcooked 2 for free starting this Wednesday with Game Trial. So starting this Wednesday, if you're in the U.K., you can play Overcooked 2 for free. A dope little game. I do have it on my Switch. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Oh, my kids want to come in. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get him. Let me get him. All right. He's knocking. He's knocking. All right, hold on. All right. 
he doesn't have a shirt on sound Never off in the comment section, section below. below i, I want to know, know but before you go bro, bro click, click that, that subscribe, subscribe button stay, stay up to date all things nin ten do peace yeah. we're out I'm five. he just turned five Hey, Daddy.